the chat room so jamma b the chat room is hearing me correct that is the way the buttons appear to be pressed Oh, okay. I can, I they, can hear you, and that's a good sign. Oh, and the oh, chat that's, room, that's a very good sign. Oh, you know what? Maybe a, they can see me, too, right? They're telling us that they can hear you and see you. You know right. why? Because on, Leo, on Leo's desk, I can see me, so I guess... Aha! Uh-huh. Yes, <laughs> that means you're on the stream. Yay! Oh, great. All right. So great. give me a minute to switch profiles, and yep. uh, no we'll problem. do a thing. No problem. So since we have a minute here, let me go into this, and Myra can wave hello. Let me see. Uh, uh, is this the other camera? No, that's not the right camera. Uh, let's see if this is the right camera. No. Oh, you know what? I had... Oh, I see. Wait a second. Uh, Myra might be on the 5C. How come that camera didn't go on? I can't believe this. Yeah. That that little camera should have gone on. Um, all right. I don't know why. Uh, uh, I look like Leo. <laughs> that's so funny. Uh, the Pro C22. That should go back to... What is going on? I did break it. I did break it. It won't come back on. <laughs> Gemma B, I can't. Can you still hear me? Yep. The I switched cameras and it won't go back to the original camera. What am Is this I the just, settings in Zoom? Uh, settings in Zoom. Yeah, I'm, so why don't um, you exit the meeting and then come back into the meeting? And if that doesn't fix it, um, oh, okay, I will, I will co- totally quit the meeting and restart the meeting. That's good. No, when you when you when you when you hit the camera, the video thing will turn on. But let me try that again. Hang on. Yeah, I know the cursor is. Yeah, you see it. It won't. It's. It's already checked that it that it should turn that on. I'm going to leave the meeting and come back. Okay, leave meeting. All right. So this is where we can talk about Dick. <laughs> Let's play a funny sound. <laughs> that sounds just like the way I laugh. No, no, that's not how I laugh. I laugh. <laughs> that's how I laugh. Hey, I see you now. Don't hear you. Now you do. I do. Yay. Yeah. It's so funny because I did this during the week and I was in... Zoom and I clicked between the two cameras and it was fine. <laughs> now that we're trying to do it for real, anyway. Uh, uh, all right, you uh, will tell me when we are ready to go. Stick your head in, Myra, so people can say hi. Now that we're down to one camera, a little further here. Let me just move this out of the way. <laughs> hi, Myra. Ah. That, there you see. Okay. That's Myra. Oh. Hello. Oh, all right. yeah. Yeah, there I just I just yelled in her ear, so she had to pull her she had to pull her ears out because I just yelled in them. Yes, she did. Because hi, Mara. Gemma B is saying hi. Oh, I'm sorry. She hi, took... Gemma B. Oh, I didn't mean I didn't mean to yell in your ears and make Do you I... pull them out. <laughs> my hair. Do you like my hair? Yeah. Well, we saw your hair last yeah, when you were, yeah. Yeah, four months ago. <laughs> no, when you had a cut, it was it? <laughs> yeah, that was two weeks ago. All right, chat roomy. I got I got recordings. Um, I'm I'm real close here, Dick. Oh, okay, very uh, good. Let me think wow. About what we're gonna do to start here? We're gonna play the theme. That's the thing that happens first. That would be good. Yeah, and so and to slate it would up. be good. Pot this up. Pot this up. Pot that up, so that we can play our funny music and. Uh, okay, so if you're ready, I am so ready. I will slate this thing. Okay. Let's see. Okay, got that button there, this button here. All right. ATI. We are in March of 2022, and it's the uh, fifth day, March 5th, 2022, and this is episode 466, Giz Fizz, episode 466 for March 5th, 2022, and it begins in three, two, Ladies and gentlemen, 
It's time for... The Odd Little Man from Mad. <laughs> it's the Giz Fizz with the Giz Whiz. It's kind of like Cheese Whiz. It's the Giz Fizz. And now your host, Matt Mattis Ryder and the Giz Whiz, Dick DiBartolo. Welcome to regular old-fashioned Giz Fizz. The hot player got fired? What was that? All right, no, no. No, Jim Tez, no extra double harp. Uh, Okay, so today we will have photos from George Davis that you captions we will have you come up with snappy answers to a stupid question from Al Jaffe we'll play logo we'll play uh, I'm not saying you're stupid and we'll have a couple of old-timey commercials Um, and I guess a chat room celebrity of the week yeah that's it Ladies and gentlemen, the crickets here on our stage. Um, Okay, yes, the crickets, says Loke. All right, photos from George Davis. And let me look down the bottom of his sheet. Ah, and an interesting fact, too. Uh, Okay, photo number one, Christmas paper with, oh, upside-down evergreen trees or falling arrows. Whatever you want it to be. Uh, Christmas paper. And in the middle of it, there is a wrapped package with green uh, string. But that's uh, the entire photo. Wrapping paper and a wrapped gift. And you make up any kind of a caption you want for this photo. Uh, um, Let's see. The chat room seems a bit stumped. Uh, no one. Oh, there we go. Oh, okay. Da-da. Now with uh, no hopping. You know what? My chat room is running really slow. Let me see if I get this going here. That is bizarre. Um, bum, bum. Arbor Day gift wrap. Let's try flying it. It's a kite. I'm sorry I wrapped my scissors. Prank gift. Paper made from upside down growing trees. Oh, that's no present. It's camouflage. No, I ordered crapping paper. Uh, Debt cord and a dust buster. Can you put your finger on the bow, please? Justin Timberlake in a box. Oh, D in a box. We know that. Uh, A present with strings attached. Oh, that's very clever. I overestimated the amount of paper and string needed. Only hoppies don't pull the string. Box of earplugs. I can't see green. Camo presents. You can lure Times Square Santas with them. You're stringing me along. That's funny, Loke. Uh, the old Christmas wrap gift on a string gag. <laughs> Green white twisted pear works as ribbon. Some of my favorite things. When you grab for the gift, you pull the string. It's the never ending bow. Not upside down trees, it's right side up cacti. Uh, Downvote this gift, the bow that never ends, the second time. Fishing for presidents, put your finger here, second time, these are good. Well, thanks. String will lead to the real present. Uh, Scro dingers, cat is missing. Light the fuse and run. Oh, that's very funny, ZX. Oh, you think the paper is old? Wait until you eat the leftover Christmas candy inside. And we'll end with Dwaddle. The cat will love this. Oh, uh, this is the second time we're getting this, but I I see it now. Earplug-themed wrapping paper. It does look good. That's that's one heck of an earplug, I'll tell you. Okay. George said, for the Christmas gift tied with a green string, my caption is, we have leftover wallpaper rolls So we decided to wrap this gift with it. Oh, that was good. No one actually said wallpaper. Uh, Okay, photo two. Uh, uh, uh. 
Wow. I don't know what we're in. I guess we're in some giant museum. We're in some building and there is a huge round structure inside it. And whatever it is, you can make up the caption. This is very interesting. Okay. Someone, oh, okay. Kiosk gone wild. The building is flat. The picture was taken with a fisheye lens. Enterprise number 23. Museum that forces couch nerds to exercise. This is what fish see in an aquarium. That's funny. Museum of spools. Oh, mashed potato said that's the British Museum. Wow. Uh, Apple event 2022 in Tom, uh, Tim Cook Arena. Pedestrian runabout. Oh, that's very funny, Captain J. Looks like a radio broadcast center. Queen E having high tea. World's biggest and ugliest bobber pole. Don't go inside. It's beyond the event horizon. Uh, the Momar exhibit on vertigo. <laughs> that's funny. Tony Hawk Pro Skate Mall level in the ear of a giant. That can go with the earplugs from the previous one. It's a mirror image. Roundhouse for trains in Greece. Johnny Monday said, no, it's a beautiful prison god tower. Uh, Cap uh, Captain to the Bridge Time Machine Central looks like a model. Queen drink her THCT deploying dome net. Had lost its charm. Future plans to <laughs> kiss with warehouse. It's Dan Wally. I built this with Lego, Okaru. Acorn on steroids. Symmetry. And we'll end with uh, lots of stuff to see the queen and welcome to my apartment. All right. George says, oh, earlier someone said British Museum. George says for the snack building... Inside the British Museum, my caption is, ice cream area is up to the left, pastries up to the right. Now I have to flip a coin. Either way, I'll be happy. So is that really, uh, I assume it's the British Museum, but can we zoom in on that, Chairman B? To see what those signs say? Oh, it's not a menu. Oh, okay. It doesn't look very snacky inside. Anyway, um, let's go on to photo number two. Uh, photo number three, sorry. Uh, I think we have to zoom back or is that? Yeah, okay. That's the whole thing? Oh, there we go. Um, it's a young girl holding, I guess it's hot chocolate with uh, marshmallows in it. Girl yeah. holding big, a large big, big cup, big marshmallow. Yeah, three, holding a three large, large marshmallows. Not not the mini marshmallows. Those these aren't the no, mini ones. The, these not are full mini. size marshmallows. Wow. Yeah. Follow Jamma B's direction. <laughs> okay. A big cup of chocolate, hot chocolate, with three giant mushrooms. What? Um, what? That's what we in the present. Soup is delicious. Mushrooms. This changes. Everything. Did I say mushrooms? You did. Marshmallows. <laughs> um, hot chocolate in a bikini. Your Santa stew is ready. Hot turkey soup with white dumplings. I like that. Hot bowl of love. Soup of the day. Have the oh, oh whoa, they're going so fast. Doomed in. It reminded me of their funny song. She's a hobbit. Mothball soup. No, dear, not on the white carpet. Want to try my marshmallow stew? Sweet Tooth Porn. That's funny, Mandy. Uh, Santa's Helper Keeping Warm. You're soaking in it. <laughs> Marshmallow Soup. No, I'm not going to share. I'm thirsty. Um, you can smell it, but this is all mine. Sugar Rush. Chocolate Pot Luck. This will warm me all the way to my toes. Turtles make great oven mitts. <laughs> Uh, this is for you, Dick. A nice mug of hot chocolate. I could use that. Uh, red and green means should mean Christmas. You need gloves to have a sip. Marshmallow stew. 
I hope they didn't uh, spike my hot chocolate this time, Merce Angel. And when it's easy, you forgot the damn cookies. Yeah, where are the cookies? Dennis, if you're uh, listening, I need a drink. Uh, okay, uh, photo three. Young girl holding a cup of hot chocolate with marshmallows. Uh, George said, my caption is, this is the fastest way to warm your body. And it tastes so good. Okay, photo four is a man. What are they? Shoe mold? What are those? Shoe molds? I gotta no, I look think at they're what shoes. George I think they're shoes, actual shoes. Oh, yeah. oh okay. They, oh, they look. Oh, okay. A lot of them look like wood. You know, some of them are wood. Maybe. It's Maybe whatever, they it's, are whatever you want it to, Maybe they're forms yeah. to make shoes out of. I think they are. So oh, yeah, they don't have soles. They don't have good soles, so they are looking woody. You're right. Um, uh, okay, it can be whatever you want. It's a man in the middle of racks of what looked like wooden shoe molds, and their floor almost to the ceiling. Custom shoe molds. The last of souls lost there. Lots of souls were lost there. The shoe butcher. Oh, that's very funny. Uh, Willie Shoemaker. Uh -huh. These chickens have no souls. A uh, Cinderella shoemaker, lost soul, soulless man, village cobbler for the big village, proud hunter displaying his kills. I don't have a foot fetish. Shoemaker lasts a lot. Call me the shoe god because I've given them all their souls. Soulless warehouse, man in a room full of clogs. Strings attached, shoemaker on steroids. Hi, welcome to Shoe Mart. These shoes have no soles. Find your foot. The Isle of Lost Souls, S O L E S. A bunch of heels in the shoe store. Oh, this is funny. Martron, Woodpecker Heaven. Woody, still looking for Mrs. Wright. Welcome to my wooden shoe shop. Flora said, uh, J286, wouldn't you like some new shoes? Wooden. Uh, no, we don't want a gobbler pie, not a No, we want a gobbler pie, not a shoe cobbler. No, I don't have size seven. <laughs> they, uh, there are only this many shapes of the human foot. Shoe trophy rack. And we'll end with Keith. You should always treat your shoes well, because it turns out shoes have souls. Oh wow, wow! <clears throat> S O L E S. All right. George said, "For the man walking through a long row of hanging shoes, my caption is: There are six rows like this." Not one person left here without finding a design they don't like. 100% sales. Okay. Uh, photo five is... Dun, dun, dun. Oh, pelicans. Uh, pelicans on, on the shore standing on a rock. Five pelicans... Oh, on the shore, on a rock. Um, too bad they're all left. Are they wearing pelican briefs? Who's going to get that beer off the boat first? Oh, this is very funny. Uh, who did, did that? Uh, uh, uh. Declare, birdie bus stop. Mine, mine, mine. Uh, the, the Bills Brothers. Very clever. Gone fishing, Pelican Quintet. Needs pigeons. We're here to collect shoes from the river. The five singing pelicans, ladies and gentlemen. Five pelicans walk into a sandbar. A rock quintet. Did you floss that minnow, bub? Uh, Pell's Landing. These would make some good cases. Pelican Airlines at your service. You guys are very clever. Uh <laughs> Time lasts of Pelicans watching a tennis match. Uh, there were six. One fell off. Uh, newest hot bird band. Slow motion picture of a Pelican. Uh, um, 
God. Uh, first, wow, Pelican Landing. They work for Fish Scale. Get away, this is my space. Five out of six pelicans prefer this roost. It's the pelican in the middle. No pooping zone. The wonderful bird is the pelican. He holds his beak more than his belly can. Humans dressed in pelican suits. Uh, Uber is late. Can we have the bill? We have all the fish. Now all we need is some chips. No place to go. The water's getting higher. No, not delivering babies. And we'll end with, this is GQ Pelican. And George said, for five pelicans sitting side by side on a rock, my caption is, we've been practicing our singing for America's Got Talent. We're known as the Flyaways. We audition Friday. Uh, okay. And number six. Six of six. Um, all right. I guess this is tree stumps with either wormholes or... Let me see what George put. Uh, oh, George said logs with many holes in them. So we'll go with that. Okay. Cut logs with many holes in them. Uh, wood cookies. Holy wood. Holy stump. Termite activity. Holy stacks of lumber, Batman. Swiss lumber. Woodpecker pra practice range. Swiss wood. Holy wood. This photo has me stumped. Hooray for holly rod. Wound hold water. You think we need a termite inspection? Uh, Swiss trees. Mama, you put too much baking powder in the dough. Fossil Swiss cheese. We were once trees with our own straws. Okay, and Jamma B said, no, my caption didn't. is, if I ever find any of these, grab them. Then you'll start your fireplace wood in one-third the normal time. Okay. Oh, and then we have our fact. This is an animal fact. Elephants have a great sense of smell. They can smell water from three and a third miles away. George said, I have been doing Gizfish shows from October 2014, wanting people to have fun on each show. Now I'm asking for someone to reciprocate. Please take a few minutes to do a celebrity chat room of the week. Not just for me, but for everybody watching. This will make the show more interesting. Be part of the show and make it a better show. That's all I'm asking. Enough said, says George. And I'll see you all next time. Bye, George. Thank you, George. These are great. Um, okay. All right. Let's go. All right, so logo game space. Uh, uh, um. Space. Uh, okay. What's the unusual shape of McDonald's restaurant on Main Street in Was Roswell, New Mexico? Okay, the unusual shape of the McDonald's restaurant on Main Street in Roswell, New Mexico. Uh, a flying saucer. It's a spaceship. It's a flying saucer. <laughs> What's different about it is the food is edible. It's shaped like an alien. It's shaped like a flying saucer. Uh, it's a flying hamburger. That's funny. Shaped like an alien. Shaped like E.T. It has a taco shape. It's shaped like a giant stomach cramp. A flying saucer. It's a teacup saucer. It's a hamburger that looks like a flying saucer. <laughs> Hamster says it's 
<laughs> What's strange about that McDonald's is it's shaped like a Burger King. That's very funny. <laughs> Bob's Big Boy. It has cactus arches. You guys are very funny. <laughs> Stude says it's different because there's a clown that parks the cars. Uh, all right. It's shaped like a tourist trap. Uh, all right. Oh, Jamma B. Oh, very good. It's shaped like a UFO. That's a great. Wow. Who knew McDonald's had some originality? <laughs> Did you bring me something to drink? Yeah. Can you have a Coke? You want? Oh, you had a oh no, you. No, I brought you a Coke. No, what's it? Oh, uh, anyway, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Uh, there are the what? What pl Charlie? Not nah, Charlie. They're way ahead of time. Which planet? Oh, Jam Bam B will know this, so don't say it out loud. Which planet is closest to our sun, and is also the name of a former brand of a Ford motor car? Uh uh uh. Oh, that's very. Captain J said that McDonald's restaurant. The food is good, but it has. No atmosphere. Mercury. That's very funny. Um, okay. Mercury, 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 Mercury. Saturn. Gary and Jack says comet. No, that was the cleanser question. Uh, Planet X, a flaming pinto. All right, Jamma B. Yes. Our Dick. space expert. Enthusiast. Enthusiast, the planet closest to the sun, name of a former brand of Ford motor car is? My. Is what? My. My? My very excellent mom just served us noodles. Oh. Oh, oh, oh Mercury. Oh, I see. Mercury, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I, know it is, I know it is my. Oh, what, well, of course, you astronauts. Jimmy B. just does uh, twit as a, as a hobby. This is what I get to do in my retirement. In retirement. What was the first restaurant chain to deliver food to the International Space Station in 2001? What? What was the name of the first restaurant chain to deliver food to the International Space Station in 2001. Johnny Rockets, Jack in the Box, Domino's, I bet it was Domino's, they didn't do it in 30 minutes. Sonic, <laughs> the, the Marx Brothers. What was the question? What was the first restaurant chain to deliver food to the International Space Station in 2001. And a couple of people have it. <laughs> no, not. Uh, Jamie B, does your space no knowledge no, go that no. far out but but i you know domino seems like a reasonable answer because leftover pizza is pretty easy to reheat but you know a, a day old burger or fries are just not going to be edible so i'm going with Dom I'll, I'll, i think that the people saying dominoes are on the right track well they're on the wrong track sakatan <laughs> has it <laughs> It is indeed, and, and several went by. It was Pizza Hut. Okay. okay. Oh. Yeah, but Dwind pizza Dwindle said partners, yeah. you can reheat the pizza on entry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, just hold it up against the side of the spaceship. What's that, like 2,000 degrees? <laughs> oh, what is the original marshmallow sandwich? Made, don't say anything out loud, made since 1917. The name of the original marshmallow sandwich made since 1917. It's 
flood another? No. Eh. From s'mores, no sloppy joes, no. Uh, some some right answers. Jim Ted says, I'm going with moon pie, a giant Oreo, Jamma B. Any guess? Well, yeah, I, I guess moon pie too, but somebody guessed scooter pie. And I'm trying to figure out what I remember scooter pie, and it seems like scooter pie was like a knockoff moon pie. But I yeah, think moon scooter pie. pie was a moon pie in chocolate, right? Well, was moon pie also covered in chocolate? I think you have a picture of a moon pie. The the the, the bread the, the the top and the bottom I think were chocolate. Ah, uh, I think you're right. It is moon pie. Can you find a photo of one? A moon pie is correct. Scooter pie was probably what Scooter X said. Okay, because that's what Scooter X makes. He makes scooter pies. Uh, Moonpie.com. Oh, the, uh, uh, that was one. <laughs> oh, uh, oh, 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 okay. You know, I just thought it was chocolate. I didn't realize there's also filling. So it's chocolate over, where's that photo you had? Uh, what are they doing? All kinds of, uh oh, they're branching out. They have moon pies. There you go. Oh, <laughs> moon pie salted caramel. I need those. Oh, my moon pie banana. I'm a, I'm a, I am like strawberry. Let's try the strawberry. Wow. Do they have, they don't have moon pie original anymore? <laughs> uh, I guess moon pie chocolate is the original. Single moon pie. Wow. Interesting. Very interesting. Lemon is great. Oh, wow. Dan Wally must live near a big supermarket. Um, oh, I remember this. Don't say it out loud. Dennis might remember. What gum from the past, maybe, maybe today too, features a wrapper that has <clears throat> cartoons printed on it. Nobody say it out loud here in the studio audience. Which gum features a wrapper with cartoons printed on it? Uh, 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 uh. Uh, uh, <clears throat> wow, whoa, whoa! Whoa, oh my gosh! That was a bubble gum, wasn't it? Holy cow! Chat room, I guess we know who has a lot of cavities. <laughs> wow. Jamma B, did you know what it was? Or did you guess now? No, I knew, I knew. It is indeed Bazooka. Now, I don't know why some people say, a lot of people said Bazooka Joe. I just know it as Bazooka. I think that was the character. Bazooka Joe was the character. Oh, Bazooka Joe was a character. Oh, from Chick from Bazooka Joe Comics. Oh. Wow. 60th anniversary collection. Oh, Tops. God, Stan Hart. Stan Hart, a mad uh, writer who also, along with Larry Siegel, wrote The Carol Burnett Show. A lot of The Carol Burnett Show. As a matter of fact, are you familiar with the Carol Burnett Show at all, Jamma B? Yes, of course. Okay. There's a, one of the most famous sketches of Carol Burnett is to take off on Gone with the Wind, where she comes down wearing this, the, the, this gown that she actually ripped the drapes down and... Harvey Corman said, you look gorgeous. She said, I saw it in the window, and I just have to have it. Well, <clears throat> I believe Stan Hart and Larry Siegel wrote that. 
Oh. Gone with the Wind was going to be shown in its entirety. So oh, you're going to show a picture of it? Okay. Uh, it's, it's, if I find it, yeah. Yeah. Um, anyway, the story I remember was that it was a last minute sketch that they had written something and Carol didn't like her lines and Vicki Lawrence didn't like her lines and they were rewriting it and then they just said, we'll just write something new. And they wrote something and they did it in the morning and the costume people got to... Anyway, he said, the reason it was funny is almost no one had a chance to edit anything. So... Backstage. Oh, they... What? Remember me, Miss Starlet? Oh, Billy Joe, my goodness, I thought she jumped off the Tallahatchie Bridge. <laughs> and so, two of our young writers, he had done his thesis in college on Gone with oh, the Wind. It's just... So he knew every scene. So they put together Is it this gonna be 20 Stan minutes or... of, I think, brilliant writing. Come on, when Harvey says, I love that dress, his gown is gorgeous, and I say, I saw it in the window, and I just couldn't resist it. It was a brilliant line. That, that, that gown is gorgeous. <laughs> Thank you, I saw it in the window, and I just couldn't resist it. <laughs> <laughs> that is great. That is, that is great. And I almost worked on the Carol Burnett show. Um, Stan, uh, Larry Siegel called me and said, did I tell this story chat room? I don't know. Uh, anyway, I'll make it short. Um, Larry Siegel called and said, listen, one of the writers is going to leave. Um, you should consider writing for the show because we, we're writing a lot of movie satires and that would be right up your alley. So when I was out there working on Match Game, when Match Game first went to uh, Hollywood, I went out for a month to get it off the ground with uh, the other writers and Goodson and... Uh, so I called over there and I said, you know what, I'm in Hollywood. And Larry Siegel said, oh, well, come over on Saturday when we're rehearsing and uh, uh, you'll meet Carol. So I did. It was very informal. I was sitting in the audience and Carol came out and sat next to me and, and said, so um, we're looking for a writer. And I said, well, I work for Mad uh, and I work with Stan. I work for Larry. And she said, Mad, Larry, and Stan – that's all I need to know. Um, call back in August and uh, we'll set up an arrangement for you. And then the show didn't get renewed, uh, which was sort of okay because it would mean going out uh, for 13 weeks and it's okay. Uh, all right, so, well, we did... Uh, oh, in what year did Coca-Cola first use the jingle... I want, I'd like to teach the world to sing. In what year? Carol Burnett is 88? Jim Tez, is that correct? Um, the Coca-Cola jingle, I'd like to teach the world to sing, debuted in... A couple of you have it, and many of you are very close. I'll ask the chatters in the, uh, here. What's your answer? 69. 69? I agree, 69. Okay, they say 1969, Jamma B. I like 72. Okay. And the answer is 1972. Wow. No, uh, uh, uh. Oh, now, chat room, if I don't see a string of correct answers fly by, you are paying no attention to ads at all. Well, at least we're not paying anything. <laughs> Name the copper-topped battery. Uh, 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 um. Dun, dun, dun. All right. What? Doug M. What? Uh, uh, uh. Charlie, leave my room. It is indeed 
Not Dora Flame, not Dora Flat, not Dummy Cell, not Silver Top, not Leak a Cell, although I've had a couple of Dora Cells leak. It is indeed Dora Cell, the uh, Copper Top uh, uh, Battery. I, I thought it was Keanu Reeves in Matrix. Uh <laughs> It's going to read the copper topped battery. No, I don't think so. All right. Uh, um, oh, fact of crap. And then we'll uh, do our snappy answer. No, after this, we're going to do two one minute commercials and I can drink my soda. Um, fact or crap the controversial American company, Halliburton, renamed itself Hearts International. Uh. The controversial American company, Halliburton, renamed itself Hearts International. Fact or crap? 50% <laughs> crap, 49% fact, 1% undecided. Crap, crap, crap. Oh, fact. Fact, fact, fact. I do not remember. I know the name. And I know there was a controversy, but I can't remember what the controversy was. Uh, you know, it's it's going right down the middle now. Uh, crap, they renamed it Evil Incorporated. <laughs> no, they renamed themselves the Totally Not Evil Company. Um... Uh, Jammer B, controversial American company, Halliburton, renamed itself Hearts International Factor Crap. Uh, I knew it renamed itself. That doesn't sound like what it renamed itself to, so I'm saying crap. It is indeed crap. Chat room, what, what was the, do you remember what their problem was? Yeah, I think Dick Cheney yeah. had a big share. Oh, that's it. They, they, oh, they, yeah. And they, and they were getting a bunch of government contracts overseas. Con okay, okay. In Iraq or Iran or someplace. Oh, okay. There you go. And Wikipedia tells oh. me that they renamed to uh, Energy, United States government. Energy Services Group. Oh, okay. Non-evil Energy Services Group, I think. So to make it perfectly clear. Um Oh, this is interesting. Xerox no longer sells photocopiers. Fact or crap? Xerox no longer. <clears throat> now, this, this, yeah, this could be, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Chickenhead said, true, they just service them. You know, back Fact back uh, twenty years ago, the the university and the admissions, you know, the we had these massive copy machines that were serviced, and I'm pretty sure it was a Xerox, but that was twenty years ago. Yeah, but you probably the company probably didn't own it, right? Wasn't it leased? But it said, I mean, the brand name on it was Xerox, and certainly, yeah, right. we certainly had a service company. I mean, the whole university right. had a contract for because you know they're all over the university back then. <laughs> Dwindle said, well, if if they don't make photocopies anymore, how are people going to copy their butts? Ah! <laughs> um, so what's your answer, Jam, would be Xerox I no longer... I think, I think they still do. Um, it is indeed crap. crap. Dennis? I, do they make them to re, re, reproduce things? I mean, anymore? Yeah, to, they make photocopies. But, <laughs> <laughs> Dennis says crap. Okay. All right. Oh, this is... All right. This is, this is, okay. This is our final fact or crap, and then we'll do a couple of one-minute commercials. After spending seven years' worth of funding, in just nine months, Canada canceled its contract with the company hired to reduce the cost of contracting. After spending seven years of budget, in just nine months, Canada canceled the contract with the company hired 
to reduce the cost of contracting. Fact, okay. Uh, uh, uh. True. Obviously a fact. Myra says crap. Sounds very true. It's so crazy, it must be a fact. Gotta be a fact. Wow. Canucked. Makes sense, fact. Sure, why not? <laughs> says Hawks Post. Sounds like a fact. <laughs> Sal says, it's fact, it's money well spent. Man did a clown said, fact, they hired the company formerly known as Halliburton. <laughs> Um, no, they just forced the company to contract. All right, Jammer B, seven years worth of funds in nine months. Canada canceled the contract with the company they hired to cut down the cost of contracting. I think that's a typical government act. I'm going to say true. It is indeed a fact. A fact. Uh, all right, we're going to do a couple of one-minute commercials. And then we'll do snappy answers to stupid questions. Okay. Here we go. Not bad, Barney boy. Papa, a chump, a champ. <laughs> Hold on. Wait a minute. Oh, I know. I'm just going to say, there we go. we're seeing Wikipedia. Yes, sir. Oh, I found it. Coming up, we'll change the... Our pet refresher, because it's made with genuine Welch's grape juice. And grapes are rich in levulose, the natural energy food you athletes need. Yeah, and I love that good grape taste. Down in front, Bonnie, for... Hey, what the... Barney, a hole in one! Have some Welch-Aid, Barney. Welch-Aid's the... Pack refresher. Oh boy, hole in one, here I come. Four. And four extra power get well shaped. With my picture on the can. <laughs> here he come. <laughs> hey, it's time for funny face. Who said that? <laughs> ah, the funny face drinks. Funny face drinks? Sure. I'm goofy grape. <laughs> Freckle face strawberry. Choo 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 cherry. <laughs> I'm loudmouth lime, jolly ollie orange. <laughs> Howdy, I'm rootin' tootin' raspberry. You're funny. <laughs> With a funny face drink, all you add is water. Don't add sugar. No oh, sugar? Nope, cause we're pre-sweetened without sugar. So you don't mess up the kitchen adding sugar. Try some. Okay. <laughs> you know these funny face drinks can talk? Uh-huh, sure. Okay. <laughs> Funny face is fun to drink. <laughs> now for a visit I will to the stop after this one. Ooh, Hall of Secret Fame. Squadrons. Hey, the Secret Squadron Hall of Fame. Yes, Jack, and every one of these great athletes is a member of the Secret Squadron. For example, Crazy Legs Hirsch, one of football's all-time, all-time greats. And Florence Chadwick, world-famous English Channel swimmer. And here is Duke Snyder. His four home runs during the 1955 World Series led the Brooklyn Dodgers to their first world championship. Let's join Duke in the clubhouse. Duke, what do you do to keep yourself in top condition? Well, Captain Midnight, I get plenty of sleep, exercise, and the cool right aid. kind of foods. And I drink chocolate-flavored Ovaltine. Oh, oh Remember, okay. I said Ovaltine. Is it not cool? Not one of those imitation milk flavorings or the other kind with just a few vitamins. That's right, Duke. Ovaltine's got what it takes. 27 vitamins, minerals, and other essential food elements that make Ovaltine such a rich source and of nourishment. animal byproducts. And Ovaltine tastes good, too. Right again, Duke. And, and girls, a hint of drink nuclear Drink your waste. Ovaltine every day, just as Duke Snyder says. Get chocolate-flavored Ovaltine. Wow. Every day. Uh, okay, there's we're going only, to do a, a... Dick, Dick, Dick. Hey, Dick. Yep. Uh, there's only a minute and 20 seconds left on this hour-long video I've been oh, playing. Oh, okay, do Why it. Do it. Yeah, do it. These last uh, 
two or three ads, and then we'll be done. Yeah, with do the it, whole do thing. it. Family we know ends up in a rut by drinking the same old juice. For that family, we suggest V8 cocktail vegetable juice. It looks good, like tomato juice, but it's a great tasting blend of eight garden vegetables that, wow, 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 should I I've got to go take juice. a poop. People, climb out of your rut. Drink oh my V8. God, I'm first in the bathroom. Rut, that looked like a grave. I got that barefoot feeling on the count of mountain dew. One little taste made me kick off both of my shoes. <laughs> oh, it's a happy feeling too, cause drinking Mountain Dew makes me giggle, makes me wriggle, makes me want to stick out my toes and wiggle. I'd rather be barefoot than any other way oh, I know. Oh. Mountain Dew has got the tingle you can taste down to your toes. For the energy to let you swing, make Mountain Dew your thing. Get the barefoot Oh, so be Here's a taste that'll just knock your socks oh. off. Mountain Dew gives you that happy, summertime, barefoot feeling all year round. Get the barefoot feeling, drink a little bit of Mountain Dew. Get the barefoot feeling, drink Mountain Dew. So that was, you bought all those three uh, DVDs. You also bought a VHS tape. <laughs> <laughs> that was that was a weird. We've thing. done the, we've done them all. No no no. That was one one of the three. The shortest one. Oh. it was only like fifty minutes. The miscellaneous oh, okay. beverages. So now okay. we still have hours of car and an hour of uh, uh, beer. But oh, the okay. miscellaneous okay. ads are done. Thank you very much okay. for obtaining those for us. No problem. No problem. I'll uh, I'll do more when we run out. Okay, Al Jaffe. More snappy answers to stupid questions. Uh, um, okay, so probably politically incorrect, but we'll do it anyway. It's uh, an optometrist, and a lady is coming in, kind of feeling her way into the door. She has on glasses, but she's squinting. And the man says, Are, Would you like your eyes examined? And she says in a rather snappy voice, and that's where you come in, and we'll see if you matched anything Al Jaffe put down. Are you here to have your eyes examined? No, I'm here for a mammogram. No, I'd like your eyes examined. My eyes are up here. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> no, I'm looking for a date for tonight. Uh, I'm here to do surgery on you. I, another, I came for a mammogram. No, I'm here to have my feet examined. No, we're here for lewd and lascivious conduct. Another put my eyes are up here. Uh, take two carrots and call me in the morning. Oops, I thought this was a gynecologist. Yes, and change my oil. Uh, oh, another yes, and my eyes are up here. No, I'm here for a pedicure. Looking for a memory exam. <laughs> this, is very, this is very snotty. No, I'm here for a lobotomy, but it looks like you beat me to it. <laughs> no, I'd like to be watched. Another, my eyes are up here. No, I'm from HR. We need to talk. Uh, yes, you look like a big fat guy. That can't be right. I'm here for a f the free stupid questions. No, I thought it was a pet shop. Isn't this the proctologist's office? No, I'm here for Oktoberfest. Uh, no, I'm here for a monocle uh, fitting. Another, I'm here for the free stupid questions. No, I'm here to stand out from the crowd. I'm here to have my future examined. How much money do you make? Here to have my knees examined. No, this is a stick up. Oh, that's funny. No, but you should have your head examined. And we'll end with, ah, I think we run out, unless my chat room stopped. Uh, all right, so we're going to go over to Al Jaffe. Would you like your eyes examined? Her, uh, Al Jaffe wrote, what a silly question. What a silly question, driver. When does the bus leave for Newark? No, I'd like the pound of chopped liver. I have my eyes examined at the delicatessen. No, I like my head examined for picking an optician who asks such stupid 
questions. Uh, okay, we're going to do a uh, 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 match game. Mm -mm. Okay, match game. All right. Oh, that's a funny one with the delicatessen answer. All right. Did you hear about the new science fiction movie shot in a delicatessen? It's called The Attack of the Giant Blank. Did you hear about the science fiction film shot at a delicatessen called The Attack of the Giant Blank? Charlie, we need like at least three or four questions, okay? Is Alex playing a Jamma B? He is. Oh, great. Hey, Alex. Alex, since you're our faraway guest, we're going to start with Alex. Hear about the new science fiction film shot at the Delicatessen. It's called The Attack of the Giant Mortadella. Is that cheese? It's cheese. Okay. We'll match cheese with that. Jamma B, you said The Attack of the Giant Salami. That's good. Uh, I said The Attack of the Giant Pickle. Oh, I match Eric Duckman. And oh, Myra said the attack of the giant salami. Perfect. Uh, Dennis, up. Oh, Dennis, yes. just answer out loud. New science fiction movie shot in a delicatessen called The Attack of the Giant Baloney. The Giant Baloney. You got some matches. Okay. Um, Da, 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 da. Oh, my goodness. Sarah screamed at her boyfriend. Not only do you have the brain the size of a pea, you have a blank the size of a pea. Uh, 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 let's see if we can manage this. Kate screamed at her boyfriend. Not only do you have the brain the size of a pea, you have a blank the size of a pea. Oh, I have a, I have an answer that is family friendly, but with this chat room, um, yeah. Oh, 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 that's so funny. Wait a second. Did the chat room, chat room freeze? You're all answering the same questions. Hang on. Uh, uh, uh. Chat room's going. Oh, okay. There we go. Yep. Uh, you have a ding dong. Wallet. I was going to write wallet, but in paycheck, engagement, diamond ring. That's very good. Um, okay, Dennis, you have the, oh, you have morals the size of a P. Okay, Charlie, not yet. Oh, Myra said you have a heart the size of a P. Dickie said you have a heart the size of a P. Jamma B, you said... You have the blank the size of a pea, a pod the size of a pea, and Alex said ego. Oh, that would be a good thing. Okay. Uh, um, Charlie, stop. Oh. Harriet said, I just peeked into the kitchen and I saw Aunt Jemima and Uncle Ben making blank. I just peeked into the kitchen and I saw Aunt Jemima and Uncle Ben making blank. Oh, I have a great answer. And family friendly. And I'll look up and see if I got any matches. Oh, I did. Oh, okay. Um, okay, Jamma B, we're going to start with you. Harriet said, I looked in the kitchen and I saw Aunt Jemima and Uncle Ben making the 
beast with two backs? Hmm. Okay, beast with two backs. I said I. They were making rice pancakes. Ah uh, ah uh, ah. Uh, Logan five. I just saw that go by. Myra. They were make. Oh. Myra said Uncle Ben and Aunt Jemima were making rice pancakes. And. <laughs> they were making revolutionary plans. Mm. Wow. Oh, uh, Dennis bought uh, Pancake Batty yesterday. What's the name of the company now? It, oh. It's a woman's name. I can't think. Miller? What? Miller. Mill something. Something. Mill? Yeah, right. All right. So, Aunt Jemima Pancake Mix is now called, I forgot. Uh, Uncle Al Ben's is still here, but Aunt Jemima isn't. Uh, Alex. Um, Aunt Jemima and Uncle Ben were making Little Debbie. <laughs> we're making oh, no, Little Debbie. Debbie. <laughs> oh, no. There's a porno film for you. Okay. Uh, um, yeah, the beast was two bags. Uh, I got that from a porno film. <laughs> say again. My answer: the beast with two backs. That's a famous porno film. Okay. Say your answer again. You know, it's uh, I I put your sound on speaker so Myra and Dennis could the hear. The beast with two backs. Yeah, I don't get that. Uh, the be oh okay all right all right all right the music teacher said to bobby's mother your boy has no flair for music whatsoever yesterday he tried to play a blank by blowing on it family friendly a lot of answers here that are family friendly. Your son had no flair for music. Yesterday, he tried to play a blank by blowing on it. Let's see if I got any matches. Oh, banjo, guitar, violin, triangle, drum. This is good. Raspberry, harp, flare gun, musical saw. These are all good. A gong, piano. Um, okay, Dennis, we'll start with you. Your son has no musical flair whatsoever. Yesterday he tried to play a blank by blowing on it. Bap, toilet paper tube. <laughs> Myra said, oh, I don't, think, I don't know if you got any matches or not. Tried to play a candle. Oh, oh. Oh, Dwindle said candle's the only right answer. Wow. Uh, I said piano. Jamma B, he tried to play a blank by blowing on it. Piano, yes. And Alex. An organ. Okay, well, that's as close to family friendly as... Charlie, okay, Charlie. One question and then you're up. One and then you're up, okay? Just one question and you're up. <laughs> uh, um, okay, they're making a follow-up movie to Shampoo. It's called Blank. They're making a follow-up movie to the movie Shampoo. It's called Blank. This is very easy. Our uh, last question before we meet. What is it? So wags a lot? Wags a lot. So wags a lot. All right. So wags a lot will be here. Um, shampoo 2, Wash and Go. They're making a movie called Follow Up to Shampoo. It's called Head and Shoulders. Don't forget to rinse. Rinse and repeat. They're calling it Massage. Rinse and repeat. Repeat. Rinse and repeat. Uh, okay, we'll start with Alex. Alex, they're making a follow-up to Shampoo, and that movie is called Conditioner. Okay, Jamma B. Follow-up to Shampoo, it's called Rinse. My answer is they're calling it Rinse. 
Myra says, conditioner, got some matches. And Dennis said, <laughs> they're calling it baldy. <laughs> Too much shampoo, I would say. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that brings us to the Giz Whiz, uh, the Giz Fizz mascot, Charlie the dog. Oh my God. This way, Charlie. Come on. Okay, Charlie. We have no headphone. Okay, we have no headphone to worry about. All right. Okay, look at this boy. Okay. Look at this guy. You're looking at you, Charlie, they're out there. They're out there. Ladies and gentlemen, oh, he, I, the way I'm holding him, we can't see his tail. It is Sir Wags a lot. Sir Wags a lot. Look at this guy. Look at this boy. Yeah, he likes comfort. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is good. I like this. This is nice and comfy. Oh, I love being held. He likes to sleep on people's shoulders. Yeah, he's a cut. Yeah, he loves this. Yeah, okay. Okay, who can I cuddle with next? Okay, Charlie, that was very, very good. All right. It's way easier without headphones. Okay, chat room, this is great fun. You guys are very funny, very clever. As Dennis was saying, it's kind of fun to see <laughs> how many bizarre answers you get to things you ask. All right, so this has been regular, old-fashioned Giz Fizz. I guess the harpist is on vacation or out with COVID. One of the angels died. Um, anyway... Regular old-fashioned Giz Fizz is a Mark Goodson, Bill Todman, Dick DiBartolo, Dennis Wonderland, Myra Joyce, Alex Gumpel, Jamma B, Burke, Micah Sargent, Becky, Beatmaster, Rufus, Magoo, Sly One, Ritaro, Cerebral, Caesar, Superu. Jim Tez, Roberto Hellman, TI-83, Travis MC, Logan, Declare, Giz1, ZX Production. And Becky, too, if I, meant, if I left her out. And Scooter X, if he's around. We'll see you all next week. It's brought to you by Turtle Wax. Remember, it's not for turtles anymore. Thanks, chat room. This was great fun. A uh, Thursday Giz Whiz. We're back to our Thursday schedule. And Saturday, we'll be back for Leo and then Giz Fizz. Jammer B, thank you. Thank you, Dick. Okay, thanks. Thank you, Alex. Alex. Thanks, guys. Take care. Thank okay, you, bye. bye. Thank you, Dennis. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> bye. It's great that they can hear you. Okay, bye. Bye-bye. Bye. All right. Turn them off. And here's why I'd play a rerun if I had reruns ready to play. Ha, 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 ha. I felt like I didn't have anything else to do today. So stand by a minute while I copy over the tech guy. Uh-huh. All right. Copying the tech guy over now, and then we'll be in reruns momentarily. Do, 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 do. I can ingest the fizz SSD that just got recorded. I can, uh, well, I'm not going to shut down the TriCaster right now because we're still looking at the TriCaster while the files cop in over. I can turn the lights back on. Whoop. There's some lights. Okay. Uh, we can see a uh, still frame of Alex. Who to do? Won't that be fun? Let's look at Alex. Uh. Yeah, remember Alex? I remember Alex. He was playing match game with us just, just a moment ago. And there's, look at those. More Alexes than you can imagine. Okay, let's see what's going on with the reruns. Okay. Looks like it's time to go.
See you all tomorrow. Leo Laporte here, the tech guy. Friend Micah.